My name's Neville Martin, and I've got about five minutes to show you the Synthax system. In that time, I can only hint at the power and sophistication of the instrument, but hopefully I can give you some idea of its capabilities, and more importantly, how you might be able to use the instrument. OK, the Synthax has two different sets of strings, a set for plucking, which are velocity sensitive, and another set on the neck, which contact the frets electrically and determine the actual note that you're playing. Each fret has its own digital pitch code, and the instant the string is touched to it, that code is sent to the synthesizer via MIDI. So the glitching problems inherent in some systems really don't apply. The act senses all the nuances of your playing technique. Pull-offs, hammer-ons, string bend and vibrato. The reason for having keys as well as strings on the synth acts is simple. The amount of expressive information that can be conveyed from the pluck of a string is actually fairly limited. Using the keys, it's possible to bring in a range of very powerful and subtle features. An obvious one of these is aftertouch. If the synthesizer has it, and the patch has it, the Synthax player now has all those monster synthesizer sounds at his very fingertips. These keys are group keys and play either the top three or the bottom three strings at once. You don't always have to pluck a string or hit a key on the synth act to produce sounds. These two keys, which perform identical functions, put the axe in a left-hand trigger mode, which means that any time you fret with the left hand, those notes will be triggered, and it can be very fast. The electronic wang arm is simply another MIDI controller and can be assigned to any synth parameter you like. So it could be a wah-wah arm, or a frequency modulation arm, or whatever. When it's assigned to pitch, you'll notice that all the notes shift together, unlike the rather random detuning of most mechanical guitar arms. The pedal unit offers another three functions, and the first of these is hold. If I press the pedal and play some notes, any number or in any shape, those notes will be held forever, and melodies can be played over the remaining strings. Pressing the pedal again, or playing over those notes, will cancel them. The second function is an electronic capo, and it works like this. Bar a fret or play a chord, it doesn't matter what shape. Press the capo pedal, and there it is. I'll do it again. Now, because there's no great hunk of plastic or metal in the way, you can play below the capo as well as above it. The last function of the pedal unit is very clever and subtle. The Synthax has damping on both sets of strings, so you can employ all the normal muting and damping effects as you do on the guitar. What you can do here, though, is turn the left hand damping off so that the notes ring on. What I'll do is I'll play a few chords with the damping on, then turn it off so you can see how the effect works. I'll turn it off. But you can still damp with the right hand, of course. There are two pedals for this. One is latching and the other is fleeting. The latching one holds the effect on all the time, while the fleeting one just allows you to join the odd couple of chords together, rather like the sustain pedal on a piano. OK, you've probably noticed that the range of notes in some of the chords I've been playing are way beyond what a guitar is capable of. Now, that's not me. That's one of the many functions of the Synfax console. In fact, I've tuned the two lower strings down by an octave and the top one up by the same amount. Now, as well as individual string tuning, I can transpose the whole thing up or down in semitones or octaves and then back to normal, all from here. You can use the console to make the syntax behave exactly how you want it to. All manner of things can be tweaked or adjusted to the taste of the individual. You can tell it how much string bend you want from a given string movement. 
and it can even compensate for sloppy picking or fretting techniques. I can change the synth patch remotely from here. How about this? I've inverted the string bend so that the note actually goes down when you bend it. Sounds weird, but it's actually a very useful and interesting effect. Everything you've heard, all the hold and capo features, tunings, transpositions and patch changes, everything can be stored in one of 99 memories in the console and recalled using the optional Synthax automation system. This is what I've been using throughout the demonstration to change between synthesizers, tunings and sounds. For live situations, the automation system is vital. In fact, its power is awesome and your scope virtually limitless. Well, that's the Synthax, and if I can do all that, think what it would be like in your hands. I've always been into guitar synthesizers since the day they uh, came to be. Uh, I go back as far as 77, 1977, with the Captain Fingers album when I had the 360 systems polyphonic guitar synthesizer that Bob Easton built. And, uh, you know, he tried to make some inroads and it was uh, kind of an elephant and, and there's been many since, you know. But uh, always they helped me uh, create something new, you know. And I've always looked at this synthesizer, the guitar synthesizer for compositional reasons, you know. I've always, whenever you hear some a new sound that you can play, that makes you think differently about music, you usually end up, at least in my case, composing something differently than you would, you know. Like when I pick up an acoustic guitar, I'll compose one way. When I pick up an electric guitar, I'll compose another. When I try to compose something on the keyboard, I'll compose another way. When I just try to come up with something in my head, it's another thing. Likewise, when I pick up the synthax, it, it makes me uh, hear totally different things, you know. And there's a new tune on my most recent album, Earth Run, called Soaring, which is the first tune for a side. And that's a very complex tune compositionally, and that was totally born out of the syntax. So for me, any time I can come up with a fresh tune from a new instrument, it, it was worth the price, <laughs> you know? I think uh, syntax has actually come up with such a revolutionary approach, along with the keyboard part of the syntax that I hardly ever use so far, that I think there'll be some young players who come up and totally rediscover a way to, to sort of blend keyboard slash guitar slash synthesis in a whole nother way. You know, that, that's where this is all going. You know, they'll, they'll, the kids are growing up with, uh, you know, the four-year-olds are growing up with little Casios anyway. So that's how they're starting out. And an instrument like the Synthax and other ones that follow is exactly where all those young people are going. No! <laughs> 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 no! 